guys, welcome to another episode of Prolly Fishing. As you can see, I'm not out fishing. Um, I'm actually at work uh, on my break. Uh, today's episode, it's been a while since I've posted a video, first of all. It's been since like, God, last fall sometime, I believe. Um, and that's about around the time, uh, last time I caught a fish. But, that being said, today, um, it's still in the middle of winter. Um, it's freezing outside, I'm from Maine cold as can be. Uh, so today we're going to do a little something different, something I haven't done in quite a while, and I'm going to show you how to rig up some uh, certain baits, and I want to go a little finesse today. We're going to do some finesse style rigs today. So guys, if you're into that type of video, um, please stick around, and uh, we're not going to see you on the water, but we'll see you on the desk. <laughs> First rig we're gonna do here is a Ned rig. This is a nice little uh, finesse bait to be dropping down near rocks and uh, little dirt areas. Um, and there's even a version we can throw near grass. So right here we've got a uh, stick bait that is a lot smaller, um, made for Ned rigging. It's uh, pretty much a Senko worm cut in half. Um, so you can pick up Senko worms and just cut them in half and use those. This right here is your uh, Ned head rig, if you will. It's a hook with a keeper for your bait and a weighted head. This is the Guggen Squad one, I believe, but um, there's many different brands that make these. And it's very, very simple <clears throat> to set up here. So you're just gonna take your hook. What I like to do is I like to line it up with the bait first to see where that hook's gonna come out, okay? So right about where that middle piece ends, the hook is gonna come out. So we're gonna take that bad boy and we're gonna stick it in the top like that and we're just gonna start threading it through here. Just like so. Until we get to that little area that we've measured out kind of and we poke it through like that. And then you're just gonna start pushing it over. It's gonna go over that keeper, which is gonna keep the bait on just like so. And as you can see, if I hold this weighted part, that little tail end sticks up and just wiggles around. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna drop that down to the bottom near the rocks or the sand, and you're just gonna kind of pop it up and down. It's gonna go like this and this. If you let it rest, <clears throat> a lot of uh, Ned um, soft baits are made with a floating plastic. So this thing will actually rest on the bottom and that plastic will come up and this thing will just wiggle around and the fish will come down and you snagged them. Now, if you take a normal Senko um, or a stick bait, if you will, cut it in half, it's not gonna have that floating action. It's actually gonna have the sinking action, which, so it's gonna sit like this, but you can move it around and it's still gonna wiggle. So it will work, all right? Um, so that is the first version of a Ned um, that I'm gonna show you. Very great finesse bait for a finicky fish. Um, I definitely suggest it near uh, like rocks and stuff, definitely. The second one, is the Texas rigged Ned. So this one is made by Z-Man. Um, I don't know if there's any other companies that make this type right now. I'm, I'm sure there is, but uh, I pick up the Z-Man ones because I like those. And this one, you're gonna just <clears throat> rig it up pretty much like a Texas rig. Um, you're gonna poke the end in, pop her through right there. If you guys can see that. And you're gonna thread it through until you get to this little weighted part right here. You're going to pop that in, and you're going to start to twist until that weighted part comes out, which is always a fun time to get through. But there you go. That's going to put the head in. Now, if you notice, <clears throat> the hook is lined up with the bait here. You're going to pinch that right where that hook bends, and you're going to put that hook right through there. You're gonna do what's called texposing it, okay? So now it's on the top of the bait, and what you can do is you can pinch the bait, pull it forward a little bit, and stick that hook right in. And now, as you can see, I can run my finger over that without getting hooked. You can put that right down in the weeds and work it just like you would near rocks or, or dirt, <clears throat> and but in the weeds where those big fish like to hide. Um, I've caught a lot of bass, a lot of pike, actually, on the weedless version, because the pike are grass hunters. They'll sit in the grass and wait. 
um, for things to come by. But as you can see, and then when the fish bites down, that plastic's gonna rip, exposing the hook, and you're gonna set that baby home. So that is the first technique I'm showing you. That is called the Ned Rig. Um, you got your regular, and you got your Texas style. So great baits for uh, finicky fish for finesse fishing. Next one I'm going to show you is what's called a hover rig. Um, it's one I just learned about uh, this past year. I have not got to try it yet, um, but I'm pretty excited to try it this uh, this spring. So <clears throat> normally, from what I've been told here, you're going to use a little swim bait style bait. So we got these Weston uh, Shad T Slims, little guys. And what you're going to need is a flipping hook, one of these bad boys. It's got the little keeper here. And what you do is you take that uh, where the eye is for the flipping hook and you're going to bend it. So usually it's out straight. You're going to bend it up <clears throat> so it's at an angle here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this bad boy. Gonna line it up here. Okay. So you're going to want it to go through the top of the bait. So wherever the top of the bait is, which is this green part on this one, you're going to want to stick her in there and start working it through like you do those other types of baits. All right? And like there. And then you poke her through. <clears throat> All right? Now, a flipping... Uh, hook has this little keeper on what you're going to do is you're going to pull it past that keeper and that keeps the bait intact these uh westons have these little plastic eyes so it kind of looks funky once you get it past those but it makes the eyes pop out just like that all right now as you can see that eye is the or the eyelet is bent upwards <clears throat> instead of being up straight and that gives it, I guess, a dying bait fish motion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop it down in the water column and it's going to just spin like this instead of going straight because you're not pulling it straight. You're just gonna let it fall and it's going to do like a, a death roll, if you will. Um, some people will actually take a nail weight. I only have a little carpenter's nail here, but and what they'll do is they'll poke it into the bottom <clears throat> of that bait to give it a little faster fall, or you can keep it out to give it a little slower fall. So you have a couple of options there. But again, what it's going to do is a death spiral. So when a fish starts to die, they kind of do these like circles in the water as they're falling down, falling down. And you can let it get on the bottom, and then you can pull it back up real quick like it's trying to survive. And then it's going down again. And I guess it drives big fish, small fish, all kinds of fish crazy. Because they're going to come up, they're going to nail it, and you're going to set that hook home. Um, really excited to try this rig out, um, whether it be weighted or weightless. <clears throat> um, I will definitely try this rig out this year and let you guys uh, know the review for it and, and how many fish I can catch on it and how well it uh, gets those fish. So again, this is called a hover rig. Um, I believe they're actually making hooks for it now. Um, but I guess a lot of people just take flipping hooks and bend the hook, uh, the eyelet up. So there you go, guys. That's the second finesse bait I would like to show you today. All right, guys. And last but not least, one of my favorite finesse rigs is the drop shot. So. We got some line here. I cut a little bit off here. Pow. Just like so. And I'm going to show you a diff couple different ways to rig this up. So first of all, you're going to need your hook. Um, you can really use any type of hook. Um, that is a straight shank hook. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you don't want a Texas rig hook that has the little zigzag in it or whatever. So we're going to use this uh, flipping hook here. There's a couple different ways you can rig this up. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do, so let's say this end 
is is uh, the end that's going up to your rod. Um, it'll already be tied to your reel, okay? So you're gonna take your other end where you would normally tie your hook onto and you're gonna slide it through. Well, you wanna have the hook facing towards the rod, okay? Come on, get in there. You're gonna slide her through, okay? Just like so. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make a loop with your line. Come on. I'm not very nimble. You wanna make a loop with your line, okay? And where the two pieces of line meet, that's where you want your hook to sit. And then you're gonna to start to twirl it, okay? So I do about four or five twirls. You wanna go in the loop, back out. In the loop, back out. In the loop, back out, okay? Doesn't really matter how many times you do it, but I like to do four or five just for strength reasons. And then you're just gonna pull those other two ends. And as you can see, it's starting to, oh, I'm messing it up here. Awesome. <laughs> Get on there, stop doing that. Get off the keeper. I'm not a professional guy, so. All right, there you go. You're gonna pull it tight, right? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna cause that hook, as you can see, to stick straight out, like so. You'll be able to wiggle back and forth there. All right, now, where you would normally tie your hook on the end, you're gonna get what's called a drop shot weight. This is a, I believe it's called a teardrop style. They got a few different styles. They got, um, they got the tube styles that is good for going um, in different types of conditions like grass, rocks. This one I believe is like teardrop is for like rocks and sand and all that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie that on the end, okay? And I just do a little, I think this is called a surgeon's knot or a fisherman's knot. Oh, I need some more line, hold on. Quality videos here, guy. There we go. All right. And again, I do it three or four times. Loop her through. Come on. I got these big fat sausage fingers. I'm not good for tying line. Get in there, man. Bear with me, guys. There we go. There you go. And you pull it through, pull it tight, right? And then you snip off your... You're in there. Or not. Okay, so. That is going to sit at the bottom of the water column. Right? You can bounce it off the water column. While your hook is going to be suspended above it. Okay? And now your soft plastic, the way you're going to rig it up. Okay? So, you take something like this. Sorry about the people laughing in the background there. You're gonna take that and you're gonna ring it on. Of course you want the hook again to come through the top of the bait if you're using like a swim bait style bait. Okay. And you're gonna push her on there all the way to the keeper. Okay, so now your weight's gonna be at the bottom and your bait will be suspended straight out in the water column like that. And you just give it bounces and see how it, see how it works. Obviously, in the water, it's gonna look a little, little better than just floating in midair, but. And the fish will see that. The ones that are right in the middle of water columns, they'll see that and they will be snacking. Okay, that's, that's one way to rig it. Um, <clears throat> the other way to rig it is literally set up on the line the same way, but you can take something, you could use this if you want, but you can take something like a Senko, okay? And you can rig it up that way, or you can do what's called a nose hook and just hook it through the top of the nose of the bait, okay? And again, it's gonna, this will suspend in the water, obviously I'm not in the water, so it's not gonna suspend, but nose hook will work too. Um, but I prefer getting it all the way on that hook, so they have a little more chance of grabbing it so yeah that is your drop shot rig 
Um, caught a lot of fish on that rig. So yeah. That is uh, three different finesse style baits that'll definitely 100% catch you some fish. video um that is three finesse baits that i love to uh, well one of them i haven't used but two of them i love to use they uh catch fish like crazy except for the third one or the second one i haven't tried it yet will be trying it this summer um so get out there rig them up and try them out um please uh like share subscribe um if you haven't already and guys if they want to know where you are you tell them you're at work you're slacking off and uh you're probably fishing we'll see you later